That's it. Lindy Hooks. That's a four. Jeb, two here. Jeb, one two. One two three. That's it. Again. That's it. Nice shot. Manny Pacquiao of the Philippines has been fighting all the best fighters in or near his weight classes. Here now. A look at Manny Pacquiao's greatest hits. November 2003. Eager for a big challenge, Pacquiao clashed with pound for pound superstar Marco Antonio Barrera. Hard left hand, straight on the button by Pacquiao, down goes Barrera. Barrera getting three chances to counter with the left hook, but taking a lot of leather to do it. Barrera's left eye is now starting to swell badly. With explosive presence, Pacquiao silenced the skeptics. Marco Antonio Barrera taking by far the worst physical beating of his career. There's no way a great fighter should have to go through three more minutes of this. Barrera's corner man is up on the apron. He's, he's going to step into the ring. That's a good decision. Finally, a superstar emerges in San Antonio. May 2004, Pacquiao faced the most skilled Mexican boxer puncher, Juan Manuel Marquez. In the first round, Pac-Man, with furious intent, dropped Marquez three times. Manuel Marquez hasn't ever seen anything like that. Who has? But in a tremendous display of resiliency, Marquez continued in the fight. Hard right hand stuns Pacquiao. Pacquiao once again wants to fight fire with fire. Marquez pops him with the right again. This was called by many the fight of the year. Both warriors battled through withering assaults and vicious attacks. Both have the hearts of champions. A hellacious night would end with a disappointing and controversial draw. March 2005. The Filipino phenomenon would now go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Mexico's legendary Eric Morales in what would begin an epic trilogy. What incredible competitors both of these guys are. Morales controlled much of the fight. Left hook by Morales again. Sent Pacquiao reeling into the rope. Great left hand by Morales stops Pacquiao on his track and won by unanimous decision. Do you want a rematch? Anytime, um, anywhere. 10 months later, Pacquiao got his shot at redemption, and Manny wasted no time taking it to Morales. Round by round, Pacquiao attacked. That's the first real knockdown of Eric Morales' career. A visibly worn down and beaten Morales. Totally exhausted. Faced the inevitable in the late rounds. Pacquiao avenged his earlier loss with a dominant 10th round TKO victory. Ten months after Pacquiao had evened the score with Morales, they faced off again in the highly anticipated rubber match. Pacquiao picked up right where he had left off, dominating the overmatched Morales. Down goes Morales on a Pacquiao right hand. Pacquiao was determined to put an exclamation point on the classic trilogy. And down he goes. Punch after punch after punch. Manny wants to finish Morales right here. And the brave heart of Morales holds up, but his legs go again. Third knockdown of the fight by Pacquiao against Morales. He doesn't run and get up. Morales shakes his head as if to say, I want no more. After a second victory over Barrera, Pacquiao finally got together with Juan Manuel Marquez for a rematch four years in the making. Hard right hand by Marquez. Uppercut by Marquez, huge left hook, buckled Pacquiao. In round three, Manny Pacquiao responded in vintage fashion. Down goes Marquez on a straight left hand shot. Perfect shot by Pacquiao. Both fighters were bleeding in the middle rounds as the fight's intensity hit a fever pitch. Pacquiao landed a quick right hook momentarily lifted Marquez off his front foot. Another left hand for Pacquiao. There's a perfect combination by Marquez. They trade shots. What a war. Both men trying desperately to win the round. In round 10, Pacquiao's power once again left its mark. This all started with a brilliant Pacquiao left hand, which looked for a moment as though it was gonna knock Marquez down. And once again, the two legendary fighters brawled to the finish. 
Marquez going out on his field if he's losing and showing you all the heart that you might expect from a great, proud Mexican fighter. What guts both fighters have shown tonight. One more right hand for Marquez. One more combination for Pacquiao. They trade shots down the stretch. In another classic battle, Manny Pacquiao escapes with a split decision victory. The third round knockdown proving to be the scoring difference. December 2008. Pacquiao and Oscar De Loya squared off in a highly anticipated dream match. From the opening bell, Pacquiao's speed advantage shocked De Loya and rocked him back on his heels. He takes a straight left hand and a right hook from Pacquiao, and Pacquiao lands a brilliant uppercut up the middle. You might describe the first couple of rounds as shock and awe. Blending his blinding speed with precision accuracy, Pacquiao continued peppering De Loya to the head and body. He's getting hit with virtually every shot that Pacquiao throws. This is getting embarrassing. And he is gradually reconfiguring De Loya's beautiful face. You can't handle your speed, son. Manny Pacquiao never let up on boxing's most well-known star. Manny Pacquiao is annihilating Oscar De Loya. After eight brutal rounds, De Loya's corner had seen enough. There's no reason to continue with this. He's too fast. Are you okay You're with that? It's done. Manny Pacquiao has beaten Oscar De Loya. May 2009. The red-hot Pacquiao met Ricky the Hitman Hatton. Pac-Man came out on fire, giving Hatton all he could handle in round one. Follows the jab with a hook, comes back with another jab. There's the straight left hand, and he landed it right on Hatton's chin. And down goes Hatton after he swings and misses with a left hook. And that's a knockdown for Manny Pacquiao. Hatton wants to fight back. Pacquiao's hands are blindingly fast. Another perfect right hand for Pacquiao. Another right hook. Straight left hand. Pacquiao's landing at will. Hard left hand. Hatton has to hold on. Will Hatton make it out of the round? He's down for the second time. This is the brilliance of the Filipino slugger. In round two, Pacquiao closed the show in scintillating fashion. Hard left hand by Pacquiao. Stunned Hatton and knocked him back. Look at the brilliant accuracy of Manny Pacquiao. Landing with both right and left hands. Boom. Oh my gosh, what a straight left hand. That is that. What an amazing knockout shot. That is the most spectacular one-punch shot of Manny Pacquiao's incredible career. November 2009. Manny Pacquiao once again moved up in weight, this time taking on Puerto Rican star Miguel Cotto. Pacquiao and Cotto went at each other with a vengeance, and several of the early rounds were classics. There's the speed advantage for Pacquiao. He starts to open up. Good left hook by Miguel Cotto. Crowd comes out of his seat for that one. Uppercut snaps Pacquiao's head back. Pacquiao hits Cotto with a hard left hand. And another. And another. Good body shot by Cotto. Drops Pacquiao in the corner. What a round. This is what we came for. Pacquiao began to take control with knockdowns in rounds three and four. Manny landed a little right hook in there and follows up by knocking Cotto down. First knockdown of the fight. Now it's Cotto who's back as he gets the rope. And he fights his way off and goes down again. And Cotto was hurt by that knockdown where he wasn't hurt by the first one. Cotto was never the same and Pacquiao was increasingly relentless. And Cotto is beginning to retreat constantly, and he almost went down again. Hard right hook by Pacquiao, landing more or less at will now. Cotto backs into the corner, he's in big trouble now. The fight could end in a matter of seconds. But he didn't beat him. Miguel Cotto showed tremendous courage, continuing the fight into the final round. Now Kenny Bayless does his duty. We thought Manny Pacquiao was great. He's better than we thought. To see more of Manny Pacquiao, log on to HBO.com. But now prepares to try to avenge his December decision loss, close and controversial, to Lamont Peterson coming up on May 19. Let's take a look now at Amir Khan's greatest hits. May 2010. In just his first fight in the United States, Amir Khan took on hometown favorite Pauli Malinaji 
in a battle of skill and strategy at the Mecca of boxing, Madison Square Garden. The elusive Malinaji had trouble getting away from Khan's stiff jab. From the outset, it was clear he was ill-equipped to deal with the style, the speed, and the skill of the determined British fighter. Good left hand by Khan. Khan steps in with power. Thus far, he is outboxing Malinaji. Khan again touches Malinaji with the right hand. Precision from Amir Khan right now in round one. By the sixth round, Khan had imposed his will on Malinaji, landing clean shots one after another with surgical precision. It's relaxed, it's easy for Amir Khan right now. Picking apart the magic man who doesn't seem to have a trick up his sleeve at this point. The Khan's really just beating Paulie up. Good, good, good stoppage by Steve Smoger. Well done. Mike was stopping the 11th round, with Khan making a huge statement and retaining his 140-pound title belt. December 2010. In one of the most highly anticipated bouts of the year, Amir Khan put his 140-pound title on the line against hard-hitting Marcos Maidana. Khan's mobility and accurate punching were breathtaking early on in the fight. Good up and under with the right hand by Khan. Excellent jab. Stuck Maidana right in the face with a perfect spear of a jab. And in the closing moments of round one, Khan landed a vicious body shot that brought Maidana to his knees. And down goes Maidana on a tremendous body shot, and he may not get up. What a body shot by Khan. The tough Maidana got up off the canvas, and the battle within the ring continued. Khan wants him right now. Big time first round for Amir Khan. Khan maintained his dominance throughout the early rounds of the fight. But in round 10, he found himself in danger of being knocked out when Maidana landed a devastating right hand. Hard right hand. Khan is tremendously wobbled. Amir should be holding on right now. Maidana clocked him big time with the right hand. Khan was momentarily out on his feet. And he's hurt again. Maidana's got his chance. Plenty of time left in the tent. And the left hook lands for Maidana. Khan is wobbly. Khan is almost gone. He pushes Maidana away. He wants to fight on wobbly legs. Too much heart. Too much heart for Khan. It's amazing Khan hasn't been down. Maidana's trying to knock out Amir Khan from way behind on the scorecards. With both fighters exhausted and fighting off of will and determination, it was Khan's endurance and persistence that led him to victory. And now Khan fires one last combination in the center of the ring to try to put the icing on the cake. Gentlemen, that was a fight. April 2011, Khan returned home to his native England, putting his light welterweight title on the line against Irish southpaw Paul McCloskey. Throughout the early rounds, Khan launched a patient attack, taking advantage as McCloskey stubbornly kept his hands low. Right hand over the top, drives McCloskey back toward the corner. Khan is going to fight because he's fast and he's out working. Khan stayed on the offensive, dictating tempo and consistently striking first. One-two combination by Khan knocks McCloskey back. Now McCloskey momentarily seems wobbled. In the sixth round, an accidental headbutt left the cut over McCloskey's left eye. It brought a quick stop to the action. We have to assume he's asking him if he can go on. Or he's telling him bad news. It's one of the two, and it looks like he's told him bad news, and the fight is going to be stopped. After going to the scorecards, Khan won all six rounds from each of the three judges, cruising to a technical decision victory. July 2011, Khan faced off against Zab Judah in a 140-pound unification bout. In the early rounds, Khan looked for openings against the defensively-minded Judah. Khan forcing a right hand. Now, rips Judah with the left. Hard right hand by Khan. And a couple little body shots that Khan got in. While Judah dodged many of Khan's shots, the veteran refused to throw back and engage. Zab has got just about punching because he's systematically being broken down. Give me my shot! Left hand! Bring it up! Throw it from the hand to the body! We've seen four rounds of pretty much the same thing. And it's all Amir Khan. In round five, Khan finally found his opening. That left hook might have hurt Judah. Now goes to the right. He's busting Zab's face up. It's pretty obvious Zab can't box with him in the middle of the ring. Draculich is calling this a knockdown on a body shot. Judah clearly thought he got hit low. He's not going to make it up. This is going to be a knockout victory for Amir Khan. 
December 2011, Khan put his 140-pound titles on the line, traveling to Washington, D.C., the hometown of challenger Lamont Peterson. Khan wasted little time going on the attack. Good left hook, and down goes Peterson. The referee has ruled it a slip. He got his feet tangled with the ref, so though the punch did land, I think the ref was right to call that a slip. Let's see if this one's gonna be ruled a knockdown. Same place, same left hook. This time it is a knockdown. And in the first round, Khan appeared stronger, faster, more accurate as a puncher. Shaking off the early knockdown, the underdog Peterson pressed the action. Good left hook. Another good left hook by Peterson. Now a good right hand upstairs. That got Khan's attention. There's a bounce under Khan's left eye. Good right hand by Peterson. Combination of punches by Lamont. Khan comes right back. Whoa! Moving into the middle rounds, Peterson applied pressure, while Khan looked for space to throw. Hard right hand, body shot by Peterson. Khan holds on. Another big right hand for Peterson. Khan pointing to his chin. Always means you tagged me. Stop! Best taking the point away from pushing. One point. One point. Stop pushing. I don't know that I've ever seen a referee so focused on pushing, which is something normally you get away with. But it's technically illegal. With the one point deduction, neutralizing Khan's first round knockdown, both fighters now let their hands go, heading into the championship rounds. Uppercuts and body shots, that's what's been doing it for Peterson. A huge right cross on the chin. There's the fighting spirit of Khan again. What a rally, what a fight. We haven't seen one of these in some time. Between skillful fighters in their primes. Ooh, good right hand got it and hurt Peterson. Peterson's legs wobbled. A fight which tests the will of both fighters. Let's see if this is going to be another penalty or a discussion. I told you, push it off. Stop, stop, another stop, penalty stop, point against Khan. Stop pushing. Stop pushing. Two points have been taken away from Amir Khan for pushing a penalty we don't think we've seen anywhere in a long time. In one of the best fights of the year, the controversial point deductions proved the difference as Khan lost a